What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and today guys what I decided that I wanted to do was take a look at the individual Team of the Week cards that came out this afternoon. Um, these ones can actually be put together into a collection to get the card that you see on the far right hand side uh, but actually they're some of them are actually pretty decent by themselves. You don't necessarily have to put them into a, a set in order for it to be valuable. Um, so I want to actually look at these individual cards for you guys, give you kind of the breakdown of some of the attributes that I think are important with each of them. And uh, then, of course, I want to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Let me know if you think these cards are worth the prices that they're going for, first of all. And secondly, if you think that any of them are worth using outside of the set, because I really do. I think that you can definitely use quite a few of these guys. Just to let you guys know, though, before we get into it, all of these cards that you see on the screen right now are clickable. So if you just want to see a review on an individual item, click on that one and it will bring you to that section of the video if you're on a PC. Unfortunately, if you're on a mobile device, it, that's I don't think that function actually works, so I apologize. But you can actually go down past, I don't know if it'll work even on the mobile, but... I'm gonna leave a link to those in the uh, description below as well, so you can actually click on them and it'll bring you to that section of the video as well. So hopefully that works for you. I don't know if it will, but we'll test it out. I just wanna make things as convenient as I can because I know not everybody wants to sit and watch 10 cards worth of reviews. So I'm gonna try and click through this as quickly as possible though. So let's get things started here with Matt Asiata, halfback for the Minnesota Vikings. Pretty decent card, he's 83 overall. Not a lot of people know who he is, but he is the starting running back for the Minnesota Vikings now that Adrian Peterson is suspended. So Matt Asiata did pretty well this week, scored three touchdowns and he got a team of the week card for it. He has 94 carrying, 94 trucking and 93 stiff arm. So he is a very, very physical running back. He's definitely the kind of guy that you want to use on third and short, fourth and short, picking up those first downs, getting those touchdowns at the goal line. This is definitely a card that you could use for those things. Now, unfortunately, the 84 speed, the 81 agility, 88 acceleration, and 77 elusiveness, those things are not very good. Um, as you see on the screen here, the green attributes, of course, are going to be ones that are really good for the position. The red attributes are not very good, and the yellow is about average. So you see here a lot of red for Matt Asiata. So overall, like I said, really only want to use him for short yardage, but he's pretty decent for that at least. Next on the list, we have San Diego Chargers wide receiver Eddie Royal, who had a nice game this week. He was part of uh, Project KSL and I's Fantasy Football Swagger podcast. We put him as one of our sleepers for the week, so I hope one of you guys actually put him into your lineup so that you could reap the benefits of those two touchdowns that he scored. But his card, eh, not spectacular. Um, it, it's It's got some decent speed at 93, decent agility at 93 decent acceleration at 95 so if you guys saw a Cullenberger's video this afternoon that he put up where he explained the that wide receiver screen pass that he really likes this card would be one that would work pretty well for that now unfortunately he kind of sucks in some of the other areas very very poor in things like release and strength so he is going to be the kind of receiver that's going to get beaten up if the opposing uh, defense actually has decent corners for press but overall he's okay uh, I don't particularly love this card because it's lacking in in some of the major areas that I look for, such as catching and spectacular catch. And also uh, the far right bottom corner, uh, that impact block attribute, I really look for that because I like my receivers to be able to actually pick up pancake blocks on occasion. And Eddie Royal is not going to be able to do that for you. So definitely uh, think about that before you pick up this card. But if, like I said, if you're looking for a guy that's just a shifty receiver that can get open, uh, Eddie Royal can do that for you. So it's not too bad of an item overall. Next on the list is New York Giants tight end Larry Donnell, and he is actually going to check in at 85 overall. He had a really nice game, almost a four touchdown game on Thursday Night Football. Very, very nice performance by him, and he is getting a beautiful item because of it. Now, he is only an average speed tight end at 84, so that's not the best. We don't really love to see that, but in a lot of these other areas, he is money. He has great acceleration at 88. He has great trucking too, which I think is an underrated attribute for a tight end because I know a lot of people take their tight end, put him in the backfield as a fullback on some plays and actually use them as a lead blocker. Uh, and, you know, that's something that I, I like to see. Um, and I like to see people having uh, tight ends that have decent blocking attributes, which he does. He's not spectacular in that. 
But the nice thing is, is if you have him in the backfield, on occasion you can give him the ball and have him run right up the middle, and that might catch the defense off guard because they're not used to seeing a tight end get given a handoff. So not a bad card for that. I think that um, some of the other attributes, like his 90 jumping are, is nice, 91 catching traffic, 90 catching, 88 spec catch. Very, very nice with those things. I'm a little bit disappointed in the 72 route running, though. I would have liked to see it be a little bit higher, especially considering he was running pretty good routes on Thursday Night Football. So I'm not sure why his route running is so low, but I guess if they would have made him too much better, he might have been a really overpowered card. Overall, really like this tight end card. I think he's probably too expensive if you're just looking for him uh, to, as a standard card to add to your team at the moment, but he is a money tight end for sure. He can definitely do some damage for you, and if you can get him for a good price, eh, why not? Go for it. Last card on the collection side of things or the set side of things, I'm still using Madden 25 terminology. What can you do? Old habits die hard, I guess, but uh, the last card we have is Steve Smith. And he is 87 overall. Steve Smith Sr., excuse me. His first card, I think, actually only is uh, called Steve Smith, by the way. So it's kind of interesting they added the Sr. to this one. But he is 87 overall. And uh, he is checking in pr pretty decent attributes overall. But that 90 speed, I just don't love. I really don't understand why they gave him only 90 speed. I mean, he looks pretty damn fast this year, to be honest with you. For a guy his age especially, he looks very, very quick. Uh, the 88 acceleration and 90 speed are kind of a detriment in my opinion. He's probably not a guy who would crack my lineup because of that, but he is good in some of the other areas. Like he does have 90 catching, 93 catching traffic. So it's nice uh, in those areas. But overall, I actually kind of might even prefer that Eddie Royal just because of the speed boost that he has. Uh, he's really not better in anything else that I can think of. But, you know, Steve Smith at 87 overall is going for a very, very expensive amount of coins right now because he's the rare card for you to pull, obviously, with him being the elite. But if you do come across this Steve Smith Sr. card, you're probably going to want to add him to the collection for this baby, and that is the Aaron Rodgers quarterback card, 91 overall. This might just be the new best quarterback in this game. As you can see here, guys, there are hardly any yellow attributes on here. The green is what obviously we're looking for. We want as much green as we can. Yellow is about average, but he only has one red attribute and that's in carrying so if you're going to be scrambling with him and taking a bunch of hits with him yeah maybe Aaron Rodgers isn't your guy but there aren't a whole lot of quarterbacks that have great carrying so overall though look at these attributes 96 throw power 94 throw accuracy he has some of the best throw accuracy and throw power attributes in this entire game period bar none I mean, the throw power, I think the only guy that has higher throw power than this, if I remember correctly, are Cam Newton and Matt Stafford. And, I mean, 96, you really can't go wrong with that, especially when you add in the, the accuracy with it. So, definitely really like this Aaron Rodgers card. He is most certainly one of the best quarterbacks in the game, if not the best quarterback in the game at this point. So, he is going to be going for a ton of coins. Like I said, if you are able to come across these other ones to put it into the collection, it's probably worth it for you to do that because this card is going to go for a ton at some point. It is going to absolutely be ridiculous once people start selling this thing. I don't even know what it's going to sell for. It, I mean, it's it's going to be out of the realm of possibility for somebody like me at this point to even afford. So with that being said, let's move on to the defensive side of the football. And we are starting off with a Dallas Cowboys defensive player, which blows my mind because I came into this year assuming that my Cowboys were going to have the worst defense in the history of the NFL. And I'm not even exaggerating with that. I really, really did. They have stepped it up though. And one of the big players that has stepped it up is Justin Durant, left outside linebacker. and He is 84 overall. Now he has some great attributes. He's really not falling short in very many areas at all. The only areas that he is not very good in are strength and power moves. So he's not much of a pass rusher. Um, he's more of a run stopper and, and even actually a pass defender than he is a, a, a pass rusher. So you're probably not going to want to put him in a 34. But for a 43 defense like a lot of people run, he is awesome. Like I said, the only thing that I don't like about him is that 71 strength. That is really, really low for a linebacker. Like really, really low. But 
Other than that, though, look at all these other attributes. He has 88 speed, which makes him one of the fastest linebackers in the game. 89 acceleration, again, right up there. 84 awareness is solid. 91 tackling is solid. Look at the coverage attributes as well. 70 for man. That is nice. That's like safety numbers for a lot of the safeties. And then 80 zone coverage. Again, really, really high. Excellent overall attribute there with 70 catching. Definitely makes him one of the better pass coverage linebackers that has come out when you add in the fact that he has good acceleration and good speed then the final things that I want to show you guys 89 play recognition and 96 pursuit the reason that those numbers have stars next to them is because those are the highest of any left outside linebacker in this game right now Justin Durant is the highest of any player he might be tied with somebody but I know nobody is higher at the moment than him in play recognition and pursuit so like I said, this is the kind of card that you might want to use on your team even outside of the set. So I definitely like this one. If you can afford it, I would definitely look for it. Uh, it has some awesome attributes that you are not even going to find anywhere in this game. So next card on the list, we have 85 overall free safety for the Indianapolis Colts, Mike Adams. And Mike Adams checks in with a pretty solid card overall to be honest with you I mean he's not excellent in a lot of areas but he's pretty good in just about everything he's really not bad in anything other than acceleration um the 88 acceleration is a little bit slow but it's it's actually although it's a red attribute um it's really not terrible to be completely honest with you there there are just some guys that have higher than that um 88 isn't really that bad you're not going to really notice it to be completely honest with you but uh just from a mathematical standpoint it did fall into the category where i had to make it a red not so good attribute but for everything else speed 89 pretty solid strength 67 good awareness pretty good player recognition good um like i said the, the best thing for him i think is his 88 zone coverage that's a pretty nice attribute um so he is very, very good in coverage, which is really what you want with your safeties. He doesn't have great hit power uh, with only a 78, but, you know, overall, you're not going to really find a ton of safeties that have the overall game that Mike Adams does. Most of the other guys are going to be great in one thing, whether it be hit power and, um, you know, block shedding and that kind of stuff, or else they're going to be great in man coverage and zone coverage. There aren't a lot of guys that are kind of, you know, across the board really good like this Mike Adams card is. So definitely a solid card. If you can afford it, look, take a look at it on the auction block. See if you can find something, uh, uh, find a way to get it onto your team, because like I said, it is a really, really solid card overall. Next on the list, we have cornerback for the San Francisco 49ers, Parrish Cox. And Parrish Cox checks in at 86 overall. And kind of similarly to Mike Adams, he doesn't really have anything that he's spectacular in, but he does have a lot of really good attributes overall. One of the things that I really noticed about him right away, playing cornerback, it's extremely important that he has good man coverage and zone coverage attributes. And like I said, green attributes here makes him a very good overall cornerback. He also does have 78 catching, so he can make those interceptions. And when you add in the fact that he does have good play recognition and solid awareness, he is going to be able to make some of those interceptions for you. And that's something that can't be overlooked. He's going to be kind of a ball hawk, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, whereas he might kind of struggle in some areas like tackling. So if he's trying to help and run support, eh, maybe not the best card. If your opponent's running a lot, he's probably a guy you might want to sub out for somebody else in those obvious running downs. But overall, though, a pretty solid card. I wish he was just maybe one or two speed faster. That would make him so much better. But at 92 speed, he's not a complete detriment. He is a yellow attribute there, so uh, we don't love it. But Overall, a very, very nice card. I think this is one that you're going to see a lot of, especially if the price does end up dropping on him because he's so good at all the other attributes that are important for uh, a cornerback to have. Last on the list of players before we take a look at the best card in the game, in my opinion, uh, this one here is the Elite Michael Johnson. This one is probably the rarest card of the collection that you're going to find. And uh, that is 86 speed. 
with 93 acceleration. So definitely one of the fastest right ends in this game. He's going to get right off the ball and use that 94 finesse move to get to the quarterback. And once he gets to the quarterback, he's going to hit him with that 93 tackle and he is going to bring them to the ground. This is going to be one of the best pass rushing right defensive ends in this entire game. Now, one of the areas that he's not so great in, oddly enough, is in run support. Uh, he does only have the 77 strength and the 82 block shed. Now, it doesn't mean that he's terrible necessarily, but he's not going to be as good as he is as a pass rusher. That's really why you get a guy like Michael Johnson. Very, very nice card in pass rushing. But like I said, kind of a little bit worse for the run support. So um, you kind of have to give a little to get a little with him on uh, the pass rushing aspect of things. You might have to give up a little bit of that run support. So final card that I want to take a look at today. The best card in this game, in my personal opinion, just came out, and that is 93 overall. Team of the week, J.J. Watt Elite, and it makes sense. Uh, I saw a number today that J.J. Watt had as many uh, QB hits, I guess you call it, where he actually made contact with the quarterback, E.J. Manuel, this week than the entire uh, Buffalo Bills defense did. So he had nine, and I think the entire Buffalo Bills defense had nine. That's crazy. And he got rewarded with an amazing card. Of course, he also did make an interception that he got returned for a touchdown. He jumped up, and it should have just been like a swat away. But he is so athletic and so smart and just so amazing, to be honest with you, that he caught that thing in midair and just ran with it for a touchdown. There was nobody that was going to catch him. One of the best defensive plays that you're going to see all year. And like I said, he got given an amazing card. 80 speed. Now, for a right defensive end, that wouldn't be that great because that's typically your pass rushing position. Your right defensive end goes up against the left tackle in the NFL. Makes sense if you think about it. But from a left defensive end position, 80 speed is actually pretty damn good. Uh, it's not the best in the game, but it's right up there. It's very, very solid. He does also have very good acceleration at 92. Look at all these green attributes. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It really, really is ridiculous. The finesse move is the only thing that he is not green in. And even then, he's at 68, he's still a, a solid middle-of-the-road guy in finesse move. But when you consider the fact that he is literally the best defensive end in the game at strength, block shedding, and power move, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. There are not going to be any cards that come out in the near future that I can think of uh, unless they make another J.J. Watt card that are even going to come close to matching this. I mean, of course, unless they put out some ridiculous legend or something like that. Then you, all bets are off with Madden when it comes to that stuff. But seriously, this card is absolutely incredible. It is, like I said, I think it's the best card in the game right now. Definitely the best defensive player without question at this point. So get your hands on this thing if you have the opportunity before the price just gets out of control. I know it's already ridiculously high, but sometimes people don't realize just how ridiculous cards are. So this one could end up going up from here, especially when people start to see this video where they see all these attributes just being incredible on this card. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you press that like button below and leave a comment. Let me know if you guys like me doing this style of video every week. If you do, I'll probably try and do it a little bit more often. I like taking a look at the individual items and kind of comparing and contrasting them from card to card. So I, I don't mind doing them at all. If you guys like them, if you find any value in them, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try to continue doing them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button so that you know when a new video comes out. And with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.